Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, hi, hello. My name is Lauren. I'm excited, I'm bringing you guys along with me. Oh, Charlie heard me talking. Hi, Charlie. I am bringing you guys along with me for a day in the life of a teacher vlog. You guys really seemed like my last one, so I wanted to do it again for you. It is 6.17 in the morning. I am about to get rolling, but I wanted to quickly show you my outfit. So this is one of my more simple outfits that I've worn, but nonetheless, it's still a really classic outfit. Um, I have this kind of really dark emerald green top that was actually from j crew quite some time ago but obviously they sell very similar things um so it's just a very simple blouse and then i've got these little gray tassel let me see if it'll focus these gray tassel earrings these were a gift from clay's sister um i went and straightened my hair this morning at least just a little bit always have my apple watch on because as a teacher you gotta have a watch um, these pants are so comfy. They have like a very elastic -y stretch band up here. They're from Old Navy and they're black, kind of cropped with a little bit of a cut on the heel. And then I'm wearing these sandals. These are from a boutique, but there are a ton of boutiques or like stores, even Amazon, um, that you can find these kind of sandals. Um, because the high today is only 88. So, still gonna be warm there's no need for any sweaters or anything like that so i still wanted to have something cool today is my last day on bus duty and i'm so excited about that because that means i can just drop my kids off at the bus and go back and start working on stuff or leave or do whatever i want i don't have to hang around make sure all the kids from the whole school get on the bus so that's gonna be so nice but i have a bunch of stuff to take into my classroom today um some stuff for our bulletin board on the outside of my classroom some candy for them and a couple other things i think i can't really remember i have to go and look in my car because i keep putting everything in the car just because i know it's going to go out there but i'm really excited i'm gonna bring you guys along with me and take you along the ride of the day of my life <laughs> here's the candy i'm going to take for my kids this week we've got m m fun size bags and then this one that just is really good at filling up the candy jar because it's a lot cheaper but it has still some good stuff um, I've got my water bottle, it says Teach Love Inspire, this, my mom found me this, and I think it's the cutest thing ever, um, so I love this water bottle. And then, this is just my lunchbox, it's the Vera Bradley one, and I keep my glasses and my sunglasses on the side pocket here, or I can put my water bottle in there on the way to lunch, and I already packed that, ready to go. And, if you're ever wondering, I switched over to using an old backpack of mine, this is just a North Faith backpack, um, from like college that I used and this is so much better for your back than like the teacher bags. I just got to school guys. I'm about to unpack my backpack and get the morning going. I need to write my I can statements on the board, pull on my PowerPoint, make sure I've got my copies done that I need for today. I'll talk to you guys a little bit about our lesson for today in a moment. It's actually very, very easy. Um, and I don't know if I've ever explained this to you guys, but basically I'm a fourth grade teacher, but our school is departmentalized. So I teach science, social studies, and ELA. And my kids will switch for another block, and then they go to math, and I get my second block. Um, so I have technically like 40 students, um, but I have like my homeroom that I teach science and ELA too, so I have them for longer, and I also take them to like recess and lunch and, and like specials and all that. Anyways, um, we're not teaching. So we just finished up our science like unit quarter. We're doing them by quarter. So we're doing science first and now social studies. Um, so today is our first day of social studies and we're using a Nearpod pod, I think is what it's called. So I'm gonna show you guys that because it's extremely cool and like I'm so excited to show my kids this. Okay, so if you've never used a Nearpod before, it's just nearpod.com, N-E-A-R-P-O-D. It's basically like a very interactive like slide. So our first um, lesson for social studies is on North Carolina um, because that's the state we live in. So it's got like an overview of the North Carolina map. It's got some stuff about North Carolina and this kind of slides a little um, more stuff. So here it talks about the capital and like you can do really interactive pictures. This is what I love. This is literally like in Raleigh, the North Carolina capital. So like you can 
do it full screen and basically you are there so the kids are going to absolutely love that it is so interactive um, and just really really cool so I'm excited about them to do that then we have a little video that they can watch here um, some more fun facts and then we've got all of these different animals and trees and plants and stuff that are um, from North Carolina so they can scroll through all of those and then our last slide is just some famous people so these are super interactive and I feel like the kids are going to love this this is my first time using one so I'll let you guys know how it goes also totally another random note but um, I finally got up my little doorbell it is over there in my wall and my kids have been loving this for a transition um, this was gifted from my Amazon wish list from a lady I believe named Stephanie so if you're watching this Stephanie thank you so much for this my kids love it and I have been dying to have one of these um, yeah and always my Amazon wish list is linked down below if you guys ever want to check it out and feel like you want to donate to my class my kids obviously and me <laughs> truly appreciate it this is what my room is looking like right now Monday morning coming in it is still super dark outside but look at this gorgeous oh, you guys have got to see this check out that sunrise this doesn't even do it justice at all so if you guys don't already, you should be following me on my uh, teacher Instagram. It's at Lauren in elementary. Um, I post pictures on there and stories like daily. So I really want you guys to go and check that out if you're not already because you can see a lot more content over there from me too. But I posted a gorgeous picture of like the sunrise in my classroom because my windows face the way the sun comes up and it is absolutely beautiful like every morning. I love it and it just kind of like puts me in such a nice mood for the day too. I showed you guys our social studies lesson plan. We have that for a 45 minute block and then we go into our two hour long block for ELA. And so for that today, my students we follow a curriculum and like we pretty much go off that I look so tired in this lighting I'm so sorry you guys um, but we go off that curriculum and so the first thing that they're doing is doing a reading marathon this week so they're really trying to build up their reading stamina mostly for the EOGs and things like that um, so they basically read the entire time and our curriculum is really focused on like um, cultural diversity and things like that so we are learning a lot about India and India's lifestyle and when it relates to being healthy um, so that's kind of how we're tying the two together so there are a ton of texts that the kids can choose from today and these ones are long you guys but I wanted to show them to you but basically they are all on this website called epic and if you don't use this it's a really great resource for assigning books it's kind of like Raz kids um, or reading a to Z if you use that and so they have We've got um, recipe and craft guide to India, T is for Taj Mahal, an Indian alphabet, the white elephant and other tales from India, cultural traditions in India, Gandhi for kids, his life and ideas, and then these are two texts they read previously. So they are going to be choosing from these. In their Google Classroom, they do also have one other listing on there under their materials. We use this a lot for uploading materials for them to use. And they start their readers workshop today, so I'm really excited about that. We're going to put those on there as well, and I'm so excited. So today is actually a pretty big day um, because we are starting small groups and actually our readers workshop, which we haven't done yet. Um, and it's like week six now of school. Yeah, so my whole fourth grade team was brand new to the school and my entire ELA team which is me and two other ladies are just brand new teachers like in general so um, they told us to hold off on doing any small group work until we really got down on the curriculum sort of um, part of the lesson so that's what we did and now we're starting small groups today so that's going to be really interesting to see how that goes I've already grouped my kids off into four different small groups because I have 20 kids in my first block and then 21 in my second block um, so I'm excited to see how that process is gonna go today cross your fingers for me and I will update you guys on how it went but now I need to pull up my lesson plan write my I can statements pull up my PowerPoint put away the candy that I got and yeah I'll show you guys what I got from Lakeshore too because I got some stuff for a fall bulletin board which we have to have done this week 
Um, so yeah, I'll show you that too. Okay, so the supplies I got for my bulletin board. First, I got this really cute burlap um, border. I got two packs of those because I think that should be enough. I got some brown construction paper because I'm gonna make a tree. And then hanging off my tree are going to be these little baby leaves and they come in different colors, so I got two. And then I got these big leaves because I think I'm gonna have my kids write um, a paragraph on there on their traditions or culture when it comes to fall and Halloween. So I think that will be a really fun interactive way to kind of get them excited and also still have a really, really cute board. And this is all like less than, it was like $20 or something like that, I think, maybe $25. Um, but I have the Lakeshore like member card, so that gave me a really good discount. later here is my hot mess of a room at the end of the day I have been looking for a classroom jobs um, way to put this in my class and assign jobs for my students. So I found this on TPT and decided to print it out and put it in my classroom. I've got teacher's assistant, photographer, Chromebook keeper, Cloroxer, librarian, pencil sharpener, red backpack holder, and chair stacker. And it is on this back cabinet in my room for right now because I think this is the best place for it. And I only go into this cabinet so I figured it was fine that this was halfway over. Today has been... So hectic and honestly has not been one of my best days and that's okay it was a very Monday Monday um, I had some really tough time with my students today <sighs> they are so talkative and I'm struggling with the way to really hold them accountable for that I've been using my doorbell to silence their voices so I'm not yelling constantly that's helped a ton I'm just trying not to yell as much because hurts my voice it's really not fun and quite frankly the students don't respond to it very well um so if you have any tips for like classroom noise i use levels like zero one two three and four and i tell them which level they're on they just continue to talk and talk and talk so if you have any advice at all please let me know down below and my allergies are acting up again i sound so congested i'm so mad because i thought i was doing really good I need to go and get some like emergency or something like that. Um, but I took allergy medicine and it didn't go away. So I hope it's not like cold or anything. I feel fine though. Um, my desk is a mess right now. Our reading marathon went well today and today was our first day of small groups. Um, small groups went really well too. I felt like the students got a lot from our lesson that we were doing. I felt like it was actually preparing them for the EOG in the year. Um, I just felt like we went over a lot of test taking strategies and stuff like that, which really helped them and me. And I'm excited about that. Um, so I'm really looking forward to keeping on doing that in our lessons. I think every day we're coming in and getting more detailed and more structured and like and improving, improving, improving as the days go on, which is awesome because I think back to literally just watching my last teacher vlog, it was like three, two or three weeks ago. I'm so different than I was then and like I've already changed so many different things and I have so many new systems that I'm learning each day to help me with different things and I love that. 
I love seeing myself improve and like better myself and do all these fun stuff. Um, but let me quickly show you the mess that is my desk right now. And I'm gonna pack my stuff up and head out of here because I'm honestly not gonna do my bulletin board today. I will probably do it some other day because we stood back with um, my two other ELA people on my team and talked about some stuff that we had questions about and things like that. So we've already done that and it's like 5.10 now. I don't wanna leave too, too late and I'm already getting hungry. So let me show you guys real quick. This is something that I really wanted to touch on, which was this. So I have a prize drawer that I actually use candy. Oh my God, best decision ever to reward kids with candy. It's so easy and they respond to it so well. Like honestly, if you ever need papers turned in, just tell your kids you're gonna bring them candy the next day and they literally do it. It's, it's amazing, it works wonders. Um, then I have this drawer, which is pencils and erasers. And then this drawer is more fun stuff. I I let my kids shop with their dojo points so I'll show you over here um, here you can see all of the different sections I let my kids shop for their dojo points so my kids basically what they do is um, they get dojo points so we use class dojo if you're not familiar with it and the kids will get points for doing different things and like staying on task and being like ready in the hallway following all the rules all that kind of good stuff turning in homework helping out whatever um, and they get points for those. And then I allow those points to add up and then they can shop with those points and earn the different rewards. And the kids love it. That was one of the best classroom management systems I have come up with in, just one of the best classroom management systems that I've come up with. They love it. It didn't cost me that much really to fill it up. The candy, I can get like two big bags of candy like every two weeks and it lasts and they love it. Um, but yeah, sorry, that was totally random. Also, this is my cute little water bottle my mom got me. I don't know if I showed you guys that earlier, but it's so cute. Um, these are the reading logs that I actually send home with my kids each day. So when they go home, they have to read for 30 minutes and take notes because otherwise I don't know that they actually read. And this is one day and this is the second day. So I have two days on one sheet. They fill out notes, what they read, the pages they read, etc. That's what they do for homework a lot of the every day then I also sent them home with this EOG practice thing which is a text called Grandpa Joe which is actually quite a tough text and it has questions and these will come back to me by Friday so that is two things that they have for homework um, throughout the week next I wanted to show you guys my filing system that I came up with here um, this I have two blocks of classes or like two classes so I have my homeroom and my block two I number all my students and I have my block one and my block two back here and I put all of their work in their individual folders so when it comes time for conferences or whatever it be I can pull out their graded work and do that back here I have an extra folder some just stuff that I need to remember and then some sub stuff back there as well stuff ready to go for Thursday folders and then I have my big old book with all of my kids information and just different notes about them my pink notebook I did bring a printer into school and this is one of the best decisions I've ever made because it's so convenient I don't have to run down the hallway um, if someone forgets something or I need to make copies of something this is easy because we're not allowed to leave our room when the kids are in it we can't leave them by themselves so I can't run down the hall and go copy something they just kind of have to suck it up um, so I can finally make things here which is good right I also have my teacher toolbox back here it's beautiful and it works wonders I use it every single day definitely one of the best decisions I've made also I don't know if you guys have any tips on how to keep your library looking nice throughout the day I do have a librarian job that I'm going to be making a little more detailed um, but my things always fall off the front I hate that all these bins aren't matching we have to do the leveled like this but I put all my nice books up here um, and then I've got all of this like look how messy this is right now that's just me you know, and then this like never stays neat so that's that's annoying but I've got a word wall going <laughs> and my little cushions and whatnot so this is my library area <laughs> anyways I just went over my lesson for tomorrow with my teammates and it is like a 5 15 now and so I think I'm going to wrap things up because I can still come in in the morning and get everything ready and be good to go and feel confident about it um, we have a task tomorrow for our students so it's like an actual formal grade that they're going to be having so I want to make sure they feel prepared for that tomorrow in the lesson 
yeah anyways i think i'm gonna pack up and head home i really hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog and just getting like a behind the scenes look in my classroom a lot of you guys commented on my last video said you really like seeing the vlogs so you want to see more i'm going to keep them coming all year long i love vlogging and i love youtube and i love teaching so i like sharing all of them down below or not down below but i love sharing all of that with you guys do not forget though to go and follow me on instagram at lauren in elementary because i post on there like daily so you guys can actually see me over there more um and it's definitely very very helpful so go and do that sorry my janitor was like walking by i was like oh is he gonna come in here and clean um i'm about to head home so thank you guys so much for watching this vlog i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more teaching videos and more home lifestyle related content as well i promise i'll be mixing in a few other things as well for you guys for those who don't want just teaching all the time guys if you want to watch more of my teaching videos blogs or related content i will link for you a video right here my last vlog um a haul for my classroom if you want to go and check that out don't forget to subscribe you can literally click that button and then over here is my etsy shop where i actually sell some really cute teacher t-shirts so if you want to go and check them all out you got multiple things right here around my face to go and click and yeah that's gonna bring us to the end of the video thanks guys so much for watching i'll see you all in my next one bye guys